back to for barking out loud. Um, I hope you've enjoyed all my videos so far, uh, including the latest one um, with Megan and her Havanese. So today we're just doing um, a short video on stacking the dog or the basics of it, just to give you an idea um, as to what to do and, and how to do, I guess. So I'll be using Hades um, because he is the easiest out of my three um, when it comes to showing. Um, because I guess he just loves it. <laughs> so as a starting point when you are thinking about showing your dog, um, the first step really is to learn how to stack them. Um, I do believe starting them as early as six weeks um, is quite handy um, because then, you know, when they first enter the ring, they'll pretty much, well, they should be clued on as to what they need to do with you in the ring. And it also depends on what breed you have as well. So I'll start off with that um, because a lot of gun dogs in particular I've noticed um, and most other breeds are shown on the side. So we'll start off with that for Hades. So once you've sorted out getting them stacked properly, good boy. Um, they do like to hold the tail as well. Good boy. And when you are doing this, try and get their um, expression out of them as well. And that's doing as many like different techniques. Depends on the on the dog itself as well. Some like to have a treat in your hand because of course dogs love their food. So with my my guys, um, I do tend to use treats. Um, at the moment, I am using the Ivory Coat Gourmet. Um, but you know, there's other things like majority use Cheerios, which is obviously loved by most dogs. Um, yeah, so yeah, when you are stacking, you do have to try and get their expression out of them because judges like to see that as well, as well as confirmation, of course. Um, with other dogs like German Shepherds, they are also stacked on the side, but on the show side, which is your left hand side, they um, do tend to tuck the back leg under the, under the body. And I know with um, British Bulldogs and French Bulldogs, they are stacked front on. So, like so. And again, just giving treats or however it is you need to get the expression as well. Um, with SBTs or Staffordshire Terriers, they're done slightly different. Um, they're stacked on a three-quarter angle. Again, I mean, the purpose of that is because the Staffords are known for their feature of their heads, but it also helps the judge to see not just their heads, but the, the angle of you know showing the body and the balance of it. And again. Getting that expression out of them or using treats. Good boy. So when you are stacking and you're trying to train them, um, I like to use keywords with my dogs. So things like stand, and when they are standing, you treat them. Um, other things like teeth, I say that just to um, get them to you know show their mouths so that they're comfortable with the judge looking at their mouths because you don't want to have a pup that's shy when a judge is looking at their mouth. Because um, yeah, yeah, it won't get used to it afterwards. So with regards to show training, um, there are actual organisations that do help with that, depending on where you are. So in Brisbane, there are places um, like Kabulcha that do show training, um, Jurak, um, and Lockyer Valley if you're out that way. Um, I think it's, um, it's a good starting point with show training um, and it also helps to socialise with your pup as well and yourself. And if you remember Janine saying with her Belgian Shepherds, um, you need to have confidence because if you don't have that confidence, um, you know, the dog can feel that through the lead and patience, a lot of patience. Because there's some dogs out there that, you know, they don't really I'm not particular with um, liking shows. Like I have two girls that 
don't really like it so much. Um, so yeah, just a lot of patience with them and um, treating them at the same time, like giving them treats, because then they learn to, you know, think that okay, this is good. If I stack, I get treats. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I hope that's given you some sort of idea when you are in the ring, that's what you do. Um, and I guess when you have done all the lead training with them as well, um, but once you've got that all down to pat, you're all set ready to go showing. So if there's any questions that you would like to ask, feel free to, because um, I'll always be happy to um, answer them as best as I can. But I do hope um, you've enjoyed this little seal on stacking. Until next time, thank you for tuning in to For Barking Out Loud.